Well, congrats again. How does it feel to, to be finally committed and, and decided and going to Mizzou? It's kind of a surreal moment. You know, I woke up this morning and it almost didn't feel real, but it's just a dream come true. And I'm, I'm really excited now to be a Tiger. It's pretty awesome. And you're going to be joining your sister here. How big of a factor was that? Well, you know, it's just, it's kind of, it's just so special, you know, just because she's my best friend and I'm really excited. You know, it's already an amazing experience as it is, but just to go through that with her, um, I think is pretty awesome. And I'm really looking forward to it. She's, she's pretty awesome. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, you, were, you played with her at Jeff City. Now you're playing with another sister at Jeff City. What's it mean to kind of keep this all in the family? Um, I think it's just, Wonderful. Just, it makes everything, you know, Mizzou is already just such a family close-knit team, but just having family, I think like my sisters, you know, they make everything so much better. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's, it's a really good opportunity. What else sold you on coming to Mizzou? Um, I just always kind of felt like they're the right fit for me. They're just family atmosphere close to home. Um, they're in one of the most competitive conferences, the SEC. A really big deal and um, I just feel like I can really reach my potential and that they can help me do that so how difficult was this whole process because I imagine there were other schools and, and there were hard decisions how difficult was this for you yeah well it was I think it, it made me into a better person just because I got to talk to you know other schools and I appreciate them you know all my opportunities but I think at the end of the day Mizzou was just the right fit and it's it's good to have my feet set and I'm just ready to go yeah, and what's what's it been like talking with Robin Pinchton and uh, your relationship with her during this? Yeah, she's been awesome. She's just really, you know, made it clear that she thinks I could do really good things there, and she's excited for me, and she's really made me feel um, like I can really benefit the team. So that's really awesome that I feel like, you know, I'm needed there, and I can I can do something special. There's been a lot of, I feel like, especially on the women's basketball side, of players in Mid Missouri that have stayed here and and played for Mizzou and played for Robin. And, and a lot of them had a lot of success, like the Porters and, and the Cunninghams. Does it feel like, you know, maybe the Linthcombs can be the next, I guess, family to, to join in that? Well, you know, that would be pretty cool. I think it says something just about Missouri of just wanting to stay home and, you know, keep that family side going. I think, like I said earlier, it just makes everything so special and just so real whenever you can do that with your sister. So, I mean, you never know. That's kind of exciting. So. What are you looking forward to improving on kind of, I know it's probably hard right now, but in the next couple months before, you know, hopefully school gets going again. Right. Yeah. Well, from the basketball side, I'm just, I'm really trying to, you know, stretch my game out a little bit, trying to work on the three, just kind of be more transversal. Um, just looking forward to working on new things and seeing what other things I can do. For Mizzou fans that I guess haven't seen you play, what are some of the strengths that you bring? What are some of the things that you try to bring to the court when you play? Um, I'd say just being a good teammate, just always uplifting the people around me, making everyone better. Even if I'm not in the game, just encouraging on the bench and just trying to help from all aspects, everyone be the best player that they can be. And then Jeff City next year, you, you all came off a really good season last year. What are kind of some of the goals for the team next year and that you want to accomplish in, in that final season? Yeah, well, I think we definitely, you know, we didn't have the best ending this year losing in districts, but I think we definitely, we've made it to a state championship before, and I think we know what it takes, and just especially being a senior, a senior this year, I think, you know, our end goal is just to win state and bring it all home for our last year, just going out with a bang.